Hi, here the introduction to the uh, new uh, Any Splines uh, plugin. The plugin that can be used to tweak your animation. So instead of using the timeline with all the various and very complicated uh, curves, you can now use splines on the HUD. It's a semi HUD, but uh, uh, I'll show you. And then start up any splines, animate splines of uh, uh, tweak your animations using splines. What the plugin does, it takes your animation tracks, in this case the X, Y, and Z X, and displays them as splines on your uh, screen, on your view. It's done as a HUD, so if you move the screen, the splines, the tracks, the animated tracks, are always in front of you. So select an object and then select uh, the track you want to edit. For example, here the X, Y, or Z text. If I want to select this one, go to the point mode, and now you can tweak your animation just by changing points on your spines. I'll show you. For example, let's take this one, the left-hand girl, zoom in a bit, and now start changing the Y position of its arm. And as you can see, directly, just by chasing a point on the spline, the animation can be tweaked. You can also uh, change the display a bit. For example, you can frame it doesn't fit anymore within the HUD, you can frame it, and then all spines are framed within the view. Here you can see uh, the current uh, keyframe that is being edited, and the value. Let's work on an example. Here we have a very simple animation. Now I want to make the ball move a bit further at the end of the animation. So, again, add the plugin. And as you can see, the, the splines is above the display. So frame it. And now you can see it's all within the ranges of the frame. It's all within the view. I only need to see the X track, so just move the other ones or show the height the other ones. Go to your point mode and now start changing. I can zoom in a bit more. You know, you can already see it's going a bit further. You can also change the display to uh, see more keyframes. And of course, start adding that one. You now you see it rolls a bit further. Okay, if you need more information, just Click the help button and then you see uh, the manual. Okay, so I hope it's clear. If you have any questions, just let us know.